for some dirt or little particles in the threads yet. I've begun collecting carbide tooling for the lathe and I thought I should get some carbide for the mill. This is a Banggood package and this feels like it should be a milling cutter. comes in three packages. This is an adapter, a mill driver on an R8 shank. This should be the face mill and four inserts. comes with a T15 Torx wrench. Interesting is that the cutters have one dot and two dots. Now they're reversible, not, not reversible, they're rotatable cutters. I wonder if I shouldn't put the one dot in the use the dots as match marks so to speak. So what I'm going to do is put all the single dotted ends this way. So I think I've installed them all identically. They felt good going in. The screws were tapped and threaded properly and they tightened up securely. No funny s spots. fits nicely. Not that it'll probably ever matter to most people, but this is an 8 millimeter socket. And when it's tight, it becomes tight. There's <laughs> no give or take. It's a machine fit against a machine fit. A couple of small nicks in the reduced portion well, this one's actually on the tapered shank. Maybe take a stone to that. 
This nick is on the recessed portion of the shank. So I think I have a job in mind for it. And when the job comes up, I'll glue it onto the vis this video and post it. This is some more carbide tooling I ordered from Banggood. Four additional holders and ten carbide inserts. Now all of these holders use the same inserts. So I got ten when I got the holders. I also ordered an additional ten of this blue nano it's a coating and as I say they're from Banggood again they're all the tooling is shipped in these telescoping plastic containers it's a straight tool right handed tool they are well oiled or preserved with whatever kind of preservative they use. And here's a boring bar. So this is the kit with these holders. This is part of the kit. This is an additional order. And this is the difference. Isn't that nice little blue color? I have no idea what it's good for. This is the best tapping fluid I've ever used. I don't use it all the time, it's pretty expensive. But when I'm in trouble, when a small tap makes a screeching noise, I change from whatever tapping fluid I was using to a couple drops of this stuff and it goes away.